So you got a little tyke playing scoot and you put it everything on backwards. Well, how do you take off the wheel? Well, it's a complicated process. So first things first, you need to take these three screws off. Once you do that, you have to push this in and then peel back the brown right here. And inside, there's these screws. You're gonna have three of them inside. You're gonna have to bend these, this plastic here. It's gonna have to be bent backwards to fit your screwdriver in there. And then once you do that, it will release this brown part, the brown cap. And then you'll be left with this. So we need to take a flathead screwdriver and get this locking uh, nut off, locking washer off, whatever you want to call it. We need to get that off. So I'm going to do that and see what happens. So I tried the flathead screwdriver. Didn't work very well. So I took a pair of lineman pliers and started messing with it. Now you might think, well, this is going to destroy the washer. Luckily, I think we can reshape the washer and put it back in. If not, you can buy these at the store and I'll have a link in the description below if you want to buy them off Amazon. Uh, they will cost a couple bucks, but it's better than nothing. So I did actually break this one. Don't know if it's going to be any use. I might try anyways, just to see what happens. And there you go. Tires off. Take this brown part off. Voila. Take this off. Swap this around and it should be good to go. So I have the liking washer. Managed to flatten it out enough. I think it's going to be useful. Put it into the tire like this. Take the little white piece right here. Put it in as well. And you're going to reassemble the tire. So you're going to need a tire. Here's the tire. Take this, put it over there, line up the screws. I'm going to do that real quick. Only got one hand. Best way to put it on is have the brown piece uh, facing the ground and then put the uh, wheel over the cap essentially and then line up the holes. Everything's lined up. You're going to screw these back in. Phillips head screwdriver. So once you have these all screwed in, I didn't torque them down like they had them. I just made them nice and snug in case I have to do it again. Don't really want to have too much of a hassle. You're going to put this on. You're going to line it up with these raised ones here. So one, two, three. And there's a little nipple right here where this little slat goes through. lines it up. You're going to put the screws in those three holes. Again, it's a Phillips. So go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. All right. Everything's nice and snug. I finally put that piece on. Make sure that's facing the right way. Pretty much. Put it back on. Push down really hard. And then hopefully you hear a snap. Click it down. Ready to go. And it's ready. So, ready for use. That wheel's not coming off. But, like I said, it might be better off buying new ones and doing it. Link in the description below for those locking washers. And that's it. It's ready to go. Uh, I gotta put on the pieces that I'm supposed to now. And we're done. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Take care of yourself and bye-bye now.